And today we're going to go through a web service called Track My Subs, and we're going to do a quick overview and install. Track My Subs is a web based service that allows you to take and put in all of your subscriptions. And we all have a lot of those, but take and put in your yearly subscriptions, your monthly subscriptions, your lifetime subscriptions, and be able to then to get, first of all, a budget out that says, okay, this is how much we're spending on the subscriptions. And you can put in comparisons to see how much you're saving on a subscription versus paying a full retail on something. So it's a pretty nice service. One of the neat things is that I really love about them is they got a great mascot carrier here, or character here that they've done a nice job with. But let's run over to it and see what we can do. To so when you have the Track My Subs and you've created your account, there's really no setup that needs to be done on it uh, in terms of installing it on your own website or something like that. This is really a web-based service where you're, the setup is going to be you entering in information on all your stuff. You'll notice here that they have four basic areas, your subscriptions, revenue monthly, uh, your lifetime deals, and these uh, revenue from signal, single payments. You can organize things when you put them in into different folders, as well as assign tags. The tags aren't showing up here, but we might be able to take a look at the tags. And then you have various reports that you can get out for subscriptions, lifetime deals, and revenue and cash flow. It's not really a budgeting system per se, but it is one that really does track what your subscriptions are. The other thing that's nice about it is once you enter a subscription, you can put in notification date so that when that subscription comes up for renewal, you're going to get an alert back to say, hey, here's coming up. This renewal is coming up. Are you sure you want to continue this? And that way you can cancel some subscription that you feel you're not using anymore. To add a subscription, simply go in and click new right here. And when you click new, we've got a little mascot there. And I'm going to enter a subscription here. And when you go to enter the company name, they're going to come up with a list of some that are very popular right off the top. But you can also type in the name. So for instance, if I type in pCloud, let's see what happens, see if it finds it. So yeah, it finds the pCloud service right here. Or if it doesn't find the service, you can enter it in as a manual entry but you can find the deal here. But the deal I'm going to enter in right now is just simply my Dropbox. And it finds Dropbox, so I'll just click that. And I'm going to say this is uh, Dropbox Pro Plus 2 terabyte. All right, and it is a subscription. These are the various options that you have. This is a subscription, and then you say next. Billing cycle for this is one year. Does it auto renew? Yes. And the payment date, let me look up my payment date on the other screen here. Uh, February 10th is when this is going to renew. And it's going to be 2020. So I just put in February. 10, 2020 as the renewal, and click the next. And then your cost is going to be for this one is going to be 119.88, and it's US denomination. You can put in different currencies here. You have a default currency. For me, it's going to be USD, but if they charge you based on some other currency like the AUD, um, you can change that. Once I have that information, then we just click next. And this is the same process that you're going to follow through for basically everything here. And this asks if you want to set a reminder. And I'll just say, yeah, I use my default alert. And that's it. That's done. And then we'll close it. And what you'll see then is Dropbox has now been added to my list of subscriptions.